had a missed tackle. So, like I said, he didn't do nothing spectacular. Those are small things, you know. It would just be keeping our eyes on our keys and actually, and people actually doing their jobs. As long as people don't try to do too much, we'll be fine. It's like Davos says, it's more about what you guys do than what anybody else does, right? Yeah, and that couldn't be more true. So, as long as we, you know, cut down on the green areas, we should be good. Jalen Hurts, your thoughts on him as you've watched some film on him? <laughs> I'm not trying to beat you. <laughs> um, no, I mean just what you see on film. Like you know, you know, what does he do well, and, and you know, what, you know, what do you think of him as far as as a freshman, especially? Um, yeah, he's he's pretty good at to be a freshman. Um, man, I don't, I don't really know what to say about him. He's good. When, when I, don't, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we'll have to step out our comfort zone to, uh, you know, like, to limit him. You know? I, don't, I do think that the offense runs through him. Like, without him, though the offense won't be where they're at. He's definitely the engine for the offense, so everything goes through him. Kind of reminds me a lot of Virginia Tech with their quarterback. But, um, yeah, I don't think we have to, you know, step out our comfort zone to limit him. I think, you know, just going in and preparing like we do every week, we'll be good. Is he a little more slippery than, say, uh, than Barrett was? Like, you know, he can do some different things that allow him to get out in space? Yeah, he can definitely move a little better than uh, JT Barrett. But, you know, they're, they're kind of similar. You know, when you play a team that has it's kind of the same as you just played, a couple running backs that can run, Hurst that can run, how do you account for all those? And, uh, how important is it to maybe make a freshman quarterback have to pass on you guys? Um, I don't think it's any different than how we came into the game last week. You know, we're going to primarily stop the run first and make them play into the passing game because that's not really the strong point that they offer. Uh, they'll run first offense, so if they get the run started, uh, we'll be in a bad situation the whole night. So it's really just all about stopping the run and they'll play right into our game. But Bo Scarborough, is he, is he better than Derrick Henry? Is he the same? How would you rate him compared to Derrick Henry last year? Um, I don't know. I can't really compare. You know, I didn't really play last year. I had one play on defense. So, yeah. um, I, I didn't get a chance to really play against Derrick Henry. I didn't make no contact with him. Never. So I really couldn't tell you. But from looking at it on film, I feel like Derrick Henry was a little better. Not saying that. Um, I'm saying that he's not good. You're just saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that he's not good. But, uh, yeah, I, I do think Derrick Henry was a little better. Um, but he definitely is a problem. You know, we have to keep our eyes on him, make sure we limit him. Game type of him, definitely. He's a big guy. So, you know, and I just think with our effort, the effort that the defense had this year, it'll be, you know, at least eight or nine guys in the ball every time. So I think we'll be Where do they find those kind of running backs that are look like linebackers? Oh, no, running. man. I think they, they breed them. Around, man. It's crazy. <laughs> every year they come up with another big back. I don't know where they get them from. <laughs> You know, do you think there's too much made of the allure of Alabama? I mean, obviously they're a dominant program, but they are just another team. Do you think that you know, not, not so much that they're overrated, but that the hype is overrated around them? Yeah, I just, I just think that people live on history too much. Like every year is a new year. So I don't think that team should be judged off of last year. Like when people come in with the preseason rankings, I don't look at none of that because you know a lot of that is trash to me. I just feel like I feel like every season is a new season and teams should start from the bottom and work their way up. So and a lot of teams just be starting at the top. Like that was never a big thing to me. I always hated that. You know. But um I don't think they're overrated as a team. They're definitely a good team, but I do think a lot of the time, you know, it's the history that follows them that, that keeps people real high on them. You know, I, I, I honestly feel like we're the better team this year, but you know, I don't I don't really think anybody on ESPN or nothing to say that just because of the history that comes with Alabama, knowing that they have a history of winning, you know, that would be the team that a lot of people pull for. But, you know, I think that we can hang with them in a fight, but uh, we'll have to see them go down the top. I know you said last week that Barrett wasn't the best quarterback that you guys were going to see all season. Uh, first of all, were you surprised by how much that blew up? And as a follow-up, where does Hurts rank? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to blow up like that because I really didn't mean no harm by it. I was really just giving an honest assessment of what I thought of him. You know, every player has strengths and weaknesses. That's all I was doing, giving him strengths and weaknesses. When people was talking about it, like I just said, the man was trash. But yeah, it blew up. I learned from it. So this week, I would not say nothing negative about the quarterback. He's good. That's it. He's good. Where does he rank in terms of the quarterbacks you all have seen before? Assuming Lamar is probably still the best you've seen. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't <laughs> describe Brent Venables. Yeah. How would you describe him? Um, 
he's just always, you know, enthusiastic. He's just, any, everything he do, he's just into it. You know, I've never seen a coach so passionate about the game. You know, not saying that the other coaches on our staff are not passionate, but man, he's just into it every day. Like, he's really out there practicing with us. You know, he's our scout team quarterback. So he's out there running around with us, getting hit, trying to run people over every day. You can just see the passion in it. Even when he coaches us in the film room, he's just always electric. Does that, does that transfer to you guys? Yeah, definitely. When your coach is like that all the time, you can't help, you know, but be ecstatic with him. You know, it's a very contagious emotion that he has with him and you know it just runs through the whole defense. Jadar, how, how do you not let let the let the, the idea of this rematch overtake what you guys have to do, overtake your press your, your preparation? It's I mean these are two different teams and two different years. Yeah, it's just instilled in our culture, man. We know every season is a new season. You know, we're not comparing this season to last season at all. So, you know, we're, we're not even really looking at it as a rematch. Like you said, these are two different teams. You know, it, don't, it didn't matter who we was playing this week. We were just happy to be in the national championship. I don't care if it was App State. You know, we was going to come in and prepare the same way. So we're not really looking at it as a rematch, and we never was. You know, that was more of a media type thing. You know, it's just we just want to win a national championship. We don't care who's the game. Oh, I mean, nothing really stands out. He's good, you know, but nothing stands out where we have to, where we feel like, oh, we have to stop this, we have to stop that, or we won't win. We just have to play our game. As long as we show up, play our game, everybody do their job, we'll be all right. How do you compare Hurts to Barry? Similar, very similar. Not much difference. Really, he, he can move a little better than JT Barrett, but other than that, I don't really see you know, any difference. They're, they're, they're pretty much the same style for him. After what you said last week about Barrett, <clears throat> you a little relieved that the game, that things went kind of the way they did? Yeah, I am. I mean, I knew it was going to go that way, though. I just had so much confidence in our defense, knowing how we prepared. You know, I knew we was going to show up and have a, a good game, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. But, you know, we came in and had a good game. I knew it was going to happen, but um, I shouldn't have said that stuff, but it brought a lot of attention to us. I was so anxious for the game. Like, I'm just ready to play to show everybody that, you know, I really wasn't meaning no harm, but I just had a lot of confidence in us. That's really what it was. A little too much confidence behind the microphone. I should have just let it all be on the field. But, you know, I said it. I'm just glad those guys let me up. Are you now aware of the power of your words? Yeah, I really am. You know, I, I didn't know it was going to blow up like that. that. That was crazy. I mean, like, when I left out of there, I just, my phone was blowing up. Like, everybody was like, why you say that? Why you say that? I was like, no, I didn't even know what bulletin board material was. That's all I was saying with my name, like, bulletin board material. Bulletin board material. I'm like, what are they talking about? But then when I realized, I'm like, yeah, I might have said a little too much. But like I said, I'm just glad those guys backed me up with it. Yeah, at the same time, it's still good to have that confidence. Yeah. Um, because he, and you don't want to sit there and go, you know, they're going to tear us up. They're going to do that. I mean, it's yeah. it's all right to, you know, at least show that you have that confidence that you guys can, you know, operate and, and stop them. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely is great to have that confidence. But, you know, now with... Not all of y'all, but some of y'all are just taking it and, and making it negative instead of just using it as you know, a confident statement to go out as me ripping somebody. Like, that was one of the headlines. Like, I'm Jadar Johnson rips JT Barrett. I'm just like, come on, man. I'm just showing that I'm confident. So, like, you know, I think it's good to have that confidence, but I feel like in today's society, we, you, know, you really can't do that. You really just, a lot of the stuff is scripted. You know? So, I really got to say what everybody wants me to say or what they think I should say. I can't really say how I feel or how I feel for it or really get mixed up in the way. So, you know, a lot of the stuff is just scripted. So, you'll be hearing a lot of the same stuff. All the questions will be, you know, my opinion. So, you know, I'm just really trying to be safe. He's good. You know, he's good. He's good. You know, my, my answer is kind of the same. He's good. <laughs> They're good. Yeah. We're good. We'll see you soon. I was going to say, a lot of us do like the little fre the breath of fresh air when you, when you do actually yeah. have something that isn't scripted every, every now and then. Every yeah. now and then.
I just, I gotta watch it, man, just because, you know, I don't want to bring that attention to the team. Like, I can handle that, that type of stuff. Like, I play better when it's, when it's pressure on me. So, you know, like, last week when everybody was like, oh, you better back that up, you better back that up. You know, that was just extra motivation for me to go out there and have a good game. But, you know, that would be selfish of me to do that every week, knowing that I'm bringing attention to the team and to the coaches that they don't really need. So, you know, it's just more, you know, being more of a team player and not being selfish when I get behind the microphone. Thinking it's all about me, it's really about the team. You mentioned.